Hello viewers, today we are going to know about several details about health. Now all of us agree that health is wealth because even if we have everything else in this world but still health is not there then we will not be able to enjoy anything that we have with us. So health is a very very important component and a requirement for all of us. If health is not well, we cannot concentrate on anything, we cannot enjoy anything and usually illness has lot of pain in component and because of that pain that is involved in any kind of illness, we are not able to concentrate on any activities and uh, we will not be able to enjoy anything in our life. So having a good health is very very important aspect. Now health psychologists did lots of research trying to understand what is health in the first place and also they tried to develop many theories explaining health behavior outcomes. So first to define health, health is multidimensional. It is no longer just an absence of disease. World Health Organization defines that health is a state of physical, mental, and social well-being. Today they also include spiritual well-being as an important component of health and it is not merely an absence of disease. The later trends in health psychology indicate that health is much more than just social and cultural and physical components. According to them, environment also plays a very, very important role. So they call it the socio-ecological model. According to this, environmental factors have a lot of impact on health and so the current definition of health includes such varied concepts such as the person's ability to cope with the changing environmental conditions the person's ability to aspire for goals and also the abilities, the person's capacity to fulfill needs. And even later uh, understandings or later research of health indicates that there is even a political component that is involved in health behavior and health outcomes. For example, we can take our uh, midday meals program that is initiated by a government. Because of this political uh, decision that is taken by the government, today we can see that there are many children who are able to have healthy life. So like that there are many programs because of this political changes all over the world that are influencing health behavior and also the concept of health is also gradually changing. In this let us explore what are the different concepts of health. There are two important concepts of health that are put forth by health psychologists. The first one is taxonomy of diseases. Please look at slide to understand the several components that are involved in this what they call a systematic taxonomy of disease. According to this there are three major components as you can see the first one is impairment. Impairment refers to changes in the individual's body like any loss or abnormality because of psychological or physiological or anatomical reasons. And this impairment leads to functional limitation and activity restrictions which are considered as the second component of the taxonomy of diseases model and you can see both these come as the second component called disability. Disability refers to changes in what the individual can do and cannot do. This in fact results in the third component what they called as the handicap and handicap refers to changes in the individual's relationship with physical and social environment. So according to this theory, there are many determinants of health and health includes so many factors 
and uh, different theories basing on their postulates they try to understand the health and basing on that only they try to develop intervention techniques to help people overcome health and also to help in the prevention and control of disease. Going on to the second one that is called the epidemiological triangle of health. This epidemiological triangle of disease lists three factors, the agent, host and environment. And as you can see in this figure, they are listed in the three angles of the triangle. And according to them, this epidemiological triangle portrays the interaction between this host, agent and environment. Now, what is this agent? Agent can be any chemical or biological causative factor and the host are factors which might be genetic or acquired and the last one the environmental factors can be biological, social, physical or any other factors that are directly related to the environment. So, these two uh, models to some extent explain the various concepts of health. Now, after looking into the concept of health, let us see what are the determinants of health, that is what components make up to form health. There are many, many determinants of health. For example, age is a determinant of health. All of us know that as we grow old, the health problems that we have to face keep on increasing. During infancy also there will be many health problems. But once childhood and adolescence sets in, the person's body matures and uh, for a relatively long period of time till old age, many of the individuals enjoy health. So, age is a very, very important determinant of health and uh, almost in 80 percent of the cases we can predict that the older the person is, the more illness the person is going to suffer. Of course, this is an exception in the case of uh, people who are born with some genetic conditions. For them, because of their nature of the disease, they continue to suffer from all kinds of illness beginning from infancy, it continues to childhood and also into adolescence. For example, say the case of uh, juvenile diabetes this will strike as uh, early as 5 years of age or even earlier and uh, these people continue to suffer all throughout their life and most probably if their diabetic condition is not controlled then they are going to also prematurely die. So, age is certainly an important determinant of health. Now, other determinants of health include the kind of socio-economic status that the person enjoys, especially the income levels. Now, it has been found out consistently that people of lower socio-economic status suffer from many disorders compared or diseases, especially all communicable diseases compared with people of the high socio-economic level. But research, especially modern research has found that the people belonging to higher socioeconomic status are also suffering from illnesses today. But they identified that there is a difference in the kind of illness that uh, they suffer from. For example, it is shown that people belonging to high socioeconomic status, they have uh, diseases such as uh, uh, coronary heart disease and uh, diabetes, but whereas people belonging to a lower socioeconomic status, they are the ones who suffer from especially uh, illnesses like uh, tuberculosis and uh, you know many other kind of communicable diseases. So, today although the economic condition is a direct determinant of health, but uh, we cannot say that people of higher socioeconomic status enjoy health. But in one sense, yes, they can enjoy their health provided they follow 
the right lifestyle. But come, when we talk about low socioeconomic status uh, uh, individuals, they cannot afford to have the right kind of lifestyle. So, in this way the socioeconomic status certainly is a determinant of health and gender is also found to be a determinant of health and uh, uh, it is uh, the research results have shown that women tend to have lot of chronic problems compared to men who seem to be having more of acute uh, illnesses. And uh, women because of their physical uh, and biological makeup tend to be suffering uh, for a longer period of time because of their uh, uh, particular physical condition. So, the kind of uh, diseases that women are afflicted with are certainly different from the kind of diseases or illnesses that men undergo. It is found that coronary heart disease is especially higher in men compared with women. And women tend to be suffering more with pain associated disorders uh, like especially lower back pain and uh, spondylitis today. So, the gender is a determinant of health especially when it comes to the kind of illness that uh, one is afflicted with. Other determinants of health include the geographical location for example, where this person is staying. Is a person staying in a country and in a neighborhood that is neat and clean and free from pollutants or is a person stay residing just near a chemical factory. Certainly people who reside near pollutants and are continuously exposed to these hazardous wastes coming out of the several industries, they are the ones who are going to be afflicted with illness sooner and also suffer from a variety of them compared with people who are living in neat and clean neighborhoods. Other determinants of health of course are the lifestyle choices. Those people who are stress prone especially type A behaviors, they are the ones who are found to be afflicted with lot of illnesses and diseases. People with uh, exercise filled diet conscious lifestyle are the ones who are found to be leading healthier lives. So, lifestyle is another important determinant of health more so in the present day situation. Now, genetic factors are another important determinants of health which we cannot neglect because certainly genetic condition is a predisposition for them to become ill. If the environmental factors are also supportive for that kind of uh, uh, disease or disorder to erupt, certainly these people will be afflicted. For example, those who are prone for uh, cancer, if this person who is prone for cancer or uh, there are many uh, other family members who died of cancer. If this person is cautious and leads a healthy lifestyle, then the person may not be really affected by it. Because of that pre genetic predisposition, if the person say for example is a smoker, then certainly the genetic has a role to play in the kind of illness that is going to be afflicted. So, genetic makeup is also an important determinant of health and uh, other important determinants are the kind of cultural and community influences that ones have and also the kind of work that the person does. Persons who are in uh, high risk jobs especially uh, who have to take lot of risk, who work outdoors and who have, have to frequently travel and those who are in a high stress conditions and they are the ones who are going to have a lot of uh, illnesses compared to a, another person who has a very stress free kind of work condition. So, the work environment and the job also is a determinant of health. Education is certainly another determinant of health. People who are educated especially who have some idea about the causative factors of disease, 
who have no have knowledge about their various disease conditions and also what kind of uh, precautionary measures that they have to take uh, so that they will be safeguarded are ones who are less prone to diseases and disorders compared with the uneducated. Another important determinant of uh, health is again the access that one has to health services. So, we know that uh, during infancy the children have to be given lot of uh, attention, lot of health care has to be given and they have to take so many vaccinations. So, if they do not have access to these health services then all throughout their life at any point of their life they can be susceptible to the various diseases and uh, access to health service also includes the distance that uh, is involved for them to go and take some health support or service when required. If suppose they are staying in a forlorn place which is far away from the regular services and hospital facilities, certainly the time that elapses from the moment the of the onset of the disease till the onset of the treatment program is certainly going to uh, have an impact on the length of the disease. So, the people who have uh, access to health care services are found to be less prone to diseases and enjoy health. And today another important thing that is involved in this aspect is that uh, the medical professionals they recommend regular checkups so that any probable disease can be prevented. So, having regular checkups as uh, regular as uh, once in uh, 6 months say for uh, visiting a dentist or uh, for having any kind of examination. So, uh, access to health facilities is an important determinant. There are other uh, determinants of health that are uh, not directly related to the individual, but are more related to the society uh, at large like the political situation of the country that they are residing in, the kind of political programs that are there and uh, also the environmental uh, factors that are involved. If suppose they are staying in a place uh, which has lot of uh, hazardous waste and also if uh, there is lot of urbanization and so the density of population is more in their place of residence, then naturally once the density of population increases, there is a demand for important resources and also the quality of air also tends to have an uh, change because of the overcrowding. And other uh, factors also include the country in which they are residing and the policies that that country adopts. For example, in India we have the polio campaign. So, we can uh, it is almost guaranteed that for the last uh, 4 or 5 years uh, many of the children even uh, those infants uh, who belong to interior villages are uh, given polio vaccination. Unlike some other underdeveloped uh, or low economic country. So, the place of residence uh, especially with reference to the country also has an impact as a determinant of health. Now, summarizing all these various determinants, we have a nice model that is developed by health psychologists. Please have a look at in this slide you can see all these factors that we have discussed or all these determinants that we have discussed in as a graphical representation. In this you can see that individual lifestyle factors, demographic variables like age, sex and other important factors are the basic core of this figure. Coming to that after that social and community networks are an important determinant for health and uh, in this social and community networks you have uh, 
uh, such varied determinants like uh, agriculture and food production, education, the work environment and also conditions of unemployment, the water and sanitation that is available to them and also healthcare services and uh, even housing is found to be a determinant of uh, health. Now, these come under the general socio-economic, cultural and environmental conditions for health. Another important theory which uh, helps us to understand the various determinants of health and the interrelationships of these various determinants with one another is the Lalandi document. It is called as a health field concept and please have a look at slide. It is the various determinants or components of uh, health are listed here and you can see that there are majorly four components. The first one is human biology and the second one is environment, third is healthcare organization and the last one is lifestyle behaviors and risk factors. Human biology is a component which uh, involves such factors as some of them we have already discussed, the genetic makeup of the person, the physical condition of the person that is a uh, basing on the kind of diet that the person takes, the maturation and aging levels of the person. The maturation if it happens and all the at the right time and all the developmental milestones are achieved then only health is guaranteed. If suppose a child does not achieve the developmental milestones as per norms then that is certainly going to have an impact on the kind of health that the individual will enjoy in uh, life to come. And other biological factors can be susceptibility to diseases. Now, there will be some individuals who have some weakness in their organs. For example, some people will be uh, ones who easily catch cold but some other people will be ones who are easily prone to accidents and there will be some other people who are very healthy uh, when it comes to changing weather conditions. They are not affected by coughs or colds, but these people suffer from various pains and aches in the body uh, like uh, leg pains and uh, back pains. Now, what are the reasons for their these discrepancies or differences? it is certainly the biological makeup of the person. So, according to this model, human biology contributes to about 10 to 15 percent of health status. The second one is the environment and according to this 20 to 25 percent is contributed by environment towards health status. Now, environment is can be divided into physical environment as well as social environment. In physical environment, our access to healthy water, access to clean air and also access to healthy diet, all these come under physical environment and also the safety and security that one has and the type of housing that one lives in, all that are an indicative factors for health and they come under the physical environment. Now, coming to social environment as a determinant of health, lot of research has been undertaken by health psychologists and in uh, Scotland, a series of experiments have been conducted. Uh, where uh, researchers collected information from the different uh, socio-economic uh, background uh, individuals. So, in their analysis, uh, they found an alarming result. According to them, they hypothesized that people of low socio-economic status are the ones who will be suffering from uh, many illnesses and also long-term illnesses. 
but interestingly or surprisingly they found that people of the high social economic status are also suffering from so many diseases and disorders. This was a surprising finding to the health psychologists. So, from this uh, Scotland findings they had concluded that uh, different socio economic status individuals suffer from different kind of diseases because although they found that the high socio economic status individuals suffer from diseases, they found that there is a difference between the kind of disease that uh, the effluent are afflicted with. So, social determinant of health is the uh, indicative here regarding the kind of job that the person has, the kind of work and stress that is involved. Other important social determinants of health are the kind of employment, employment situation in the country that is prevailing. They found that those uh, countries with high unemployment rates uh, have also more prevalence of uh, various kinds of illnesses which suggests that uh, if the people are uh, in good employment and continuous employment naturally they will be less stress prone unlike people if they are in a state of unemployment. And uh, incidentally we can note that unemployment rates are on the rise globally. So, globally uh, we can predict that there will be more illnesses and more diseases today. Apart from that the kind of uh, social support that the person has is also an important determinant of health. You might have seen some cases where even though the person is suffering from say an acute condition, a serious illness. If that person has lot of social support, uh, they surprise even the doctors because they rebound and they come back to normal life. The doctors might predict that the person might uh, eventually die, but many times uh, people with lot of social support, family support, friends support and also the kind of access that they have to health uh, programs, these are the ones who are uh, even though they are afflicted with illness, they rebound quickly and also the severity also is lesser. So, social support is a another important social determinant of health. So, another very important uh, determinant of uh, health as you can see in the diagram is lifestyle. It contributes to nearly 50 to 60 percent of health status. So, what does these results indicate? They mean that even though biologically a person is predisposed to a health condition and even if the environmental resources are not so conducive for health and even if the person does not have uh, enough social support, still if the person maintains a healthy lifestyle then they are going to stay healthy. So, lifestyle changes are a very, very important component of today uh, health programs. Having a good lifestyle means having regular eating habits, regular sleep habits, then doing lot of exercise and being conscious about the diet that one eats and also trying to take lot of greens and uh, take less of cholesterol uh, rich foods and so on. So, in this uh, context the adopting of exercise uh, regimes like yoga, meditation and other uh, naturopathic programs are uh, highly recommended today by scientists and physicians. So, to summarize we have seen in this lesson the various definitions of health and we have also seen that uh, health is not just an absence of disease, but it is a comprehensive uh, well-being in all fronts like physical, social, uh, mental and even spiritual. Apart from that we have also seen the various determinants of health 
and among all the determinants of health that we have discussed we have found that lifestyle is a very very important determinant of health and uh, that is a very interesting and very uh, it's a good news because if uh, suppose biological or other factors are important then we will not be able to do much but lifestyle is certainly in our hands so we can conclude that health is in very much in our hands today thank you